doing 8 times C, 64 times 49, that's not going to be fun. So anytime you guys are looking and you only have two terms, look to factor out the GCF like you guys had on your homework. Or also look to see if you have squared terms. Is 64 a squared number? Yeah, it's 8 squared, right? x squared is a squared number, x. And 49 is a squared number. Whenever we have a squared number subtracted from a squared number, I want you to think of a squared minus b squared, right? Because when we have a squared minus b squared, we know we can apply the difference of two squares. Because last class period, I showed you that you, when you have this, all you need to do, the factored form is a minus b times a plus b. Done. You don't have to do the a times c and box and f no. If you recognize it's a difference of two squares, if 64 is like a squared term, what is just going to be my a? 8. And then x squared, squared term, just be x. 8x minus 7 times 8x plus 7. Done. No factoring even had to do. That quick. Isn't that nice? <laughs>